I boarded a Faber Castell TK 9400 clutch pencil for a technical drawing and I've recorded an unwrapping here, an unboxing, unwrapping and uh, I'm just adding this commentary to go with the video so I'm just gonna unwrap this here I ordered a clutch pencil because it's supposed to be uh, the sort of pencil you use for technical drawings. I've read it in many books from 1950s, maybe one or two, that you use, you can't just use ordinary pencils in, a, in an architectural technical drawing. You have to use a pencil which has a two millimeter thick lead, which is hard enough to not break as you draw with it. And here I'm unpacking the pencil, which just fell on my desk. And as you can see there, TK9400, that's the model I've ordered, which was really cheap on Amazon. Very cheap, I think it was five or six pounds. And there you can see the end of the pencil there. Now I'm about to press the mechanism and show you how it works. Now I'm pressing the button here and you can see this clutch action, this weird mechanism that opens up. And that's the clutch that holds the lead. So you can extend the lead at any distance that you want. And here's the leads which I used, which I've ordered. I've ordered two H leads for the technical drawings that I want to do because it's been recommended by the books from 1950s to use 2H LEDs for technical drawings. The reason for that is because they don't break easily and they you can mark very hard with them and it takes a good amount of time to use them to wear them down. So they won't wear down like ordinary pencils. They won't wear down as quickly as ordinary pencils. And as you can see here, this is the full length of a lead. It's like a pencil, but without the wooden part. And this lead is a 2H. So I'm going to remove the cap of this pencil here so I can... Actually... I remembered on another video that you can actually put it in this way. And then I noticed that there was a lead already inside the pencil. To my surprise. And this, there, there you go, you see that clutch mechanism. It's clutching the lead at that distance. And you can draw with this at that length and it won't break. As long as you're not pressing it down like as if you're trying to break it. If you're actually trying to draw with it, it won't break. Well, it's not supposed to break. Now, apparently, some of these clutch pencils at the ends of them, they have a, a sharpener in the end cap. Now, I ordered a sharpener, but I want to see if this pencil has a sharpener in the end. So I'm looking in the end now just to see if there's one, but I can't really see anything. And I'm taking this lead and attempting to sharpen it. Now this cap is quite loose on the end. It's not really, I don't feel anything happening. I don't feel any sharpening. There's no shavings coming out. There's no shavings of the lead. And to really test it out, I'm going to, put in this blunt end that you see right now. This blunt end, if it sharpens after I do this motion here, then it means there's a sharpener in there. And nothing happened. So this TK9400 does not come with a sharpener in the end. So I need a separate specialized sharpener. You can't just use any well, I tried using an ordinary pencil sharpener and 
It takes some careful work to get them sharp. It doesn't really work very well. So I, I've just ordered a specialized clutch pencil sharpener, a two millimeter lead sharpener. Just type these keywords into any Amazon or eBay and you should find your own. And after pressing it down and twisting it in a bit, it feels like it's locked in. So there's the clutch pencil, that how it, that's how it looks. I'm going to attempt to draw with this now, just to test it out. And I'm pressing quite hard, because I'm actually excited to test out how hard I can press with it. And it broke. I guess I was pressing too hard. I don't have a sharpener, so unfortunately I can't really sharpen it. Well, not the correct sharpener anyway. Here's an ordinary pencil sharpener, and I'm going to attempt to sharpen this. But, uh, I'm not expecting that it's going to do a good job. So, some of the shavings is coming off, it seems. I, I wanted it to sharpen like a pencil. So it has a really sharp point like a pencil and hopefully it would wear as long as it's supposed to wear. But as you'll see in a minute, it uh, doesn't sharpen exactly as it should. There's some irregularities in the end of the lead. There's some, see the lead looks a bit off. Attempting to clean up the job here. That's uh, probably as sharp as I'm going to get it, if you can see. It doesn't look great. So I'm, I'm going to have to wait for that proper sharpener to come. Well, it's drawing fine lines. Get a nice view of the pencil and it's irregular lead which I've sharpened very badly there. It is a nice feeling pencil and I feel like I am going to enjoy using it to draw with. I have some ideas of what I'm going to draw with it, what technical drawings I'm going to create, and I've already done some with an ordinary pencil so I'm looking forward to see the comparison. I've had to constantly sharpen the pencils to keep the drawings proper. But uh, the line thickness is varied in my drawings. Now what I'm looking forward to with this clutch pencil is that I won't have to sharpen it as much as an ordinary pencil. So I'm hoping the lines stay consistent throughout my drawing. You can have a look at the pencil lead box. Uh, a detailed view. The 2H LEDs, which are recommended to use for drawing with, for technical drawings. The existing lead that was inside the mechanical pencil, I mean clutch pencil already, it was a HB LED. That, that was the one that snapped when I was pressing hard with it. I haven't tried the 2H LED yet. I haven't tried pressing hard with the 2H LED. I'll make a technical drawing and see my experience with it and maybe I'll make a follow-up video about how it is.